Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. Since Anime Studio version 9.5, the eyedropper has seen a few enhancements. First, you'll notice when you are on a vector layer that the eyedropper tool is no longer in the draw tool section. It is now in the layer section. And the reason for this is because the eyedropper tool no longer affects just vector layers. You'll see here on my layers panel, I have some image layers. These are the trailers that we have in the background. Now let's say that you want to use the eyedropper just like you used it before, and you can still do that. We can take the select shape tool, we could click on a vector object and then take the eyedropper and then click on a color and as you can see the color transfers over. So that's the same, you don't have to worry about that. If you want to use the new enhancements, this is what you can do. First, take the eyedropper tool and then place your cursor on the canvas. Now if you hold down your command key if you're on a Mac or control if you're on Windows, and then hold down your mouse button, you'll get this circle that appears. And the inner part of the circle is indicating which color you are currently selecting. So you can see I can come in here and I can grab one of those dark areas of this image layer, by the way, this is an image layer, not a vector. You can then select that color. And the reason why I point out it's an image is because again, this was not possible before 9.5 with image layers. But as you can see, I can put my cursor over anything here on the canvas. I can cross over into this vector layer, select a green color if I wanted to, go into the image layer, come down here, and so forth. So let's say I pick a color here. I want this tannish color from the door. So I can just release my mouse button and, well, nothing happens. It's not in the style palette or anything. So what does this do for us exactly? Well, the thinking here is you may want to transfer this color over to different aspects of your project file. So for example, I could click on the fill property and you see this number here for the color picker? Hold in control and hit V on your keyboard or command V if you're on a Mac. You'll notice now that the color swatch has changed and we have a new value for that number. That is the color we just copied. So you could use it for a fill, you could use it for a stroke, just come in here, okay, that's our stroke color now, or you could even come over here to your project settings, click background, and paste it in for your background color for your project. So really, the choice is yours. So you can use the eyedropper just like you always have, or you can take advantage of these new enhancements. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, you can visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.